nature really. Practically anything that grows will inspire me. So trees, distant vistas and really small things, but just any plants really. As time progressed and I, I moved along with my painting, I, I concentrated more on the landscapes and then I kind of morphed into painting more just trees. I like to look at the way things are not perfect and I don't think I could ever do a painting that was too formal in its structure and design. I, I like things to be a little eaten by insects or, or, or have bits of in, things twining through them so that it, it just looks a bit more wild and untamed. It's probably a good word. I really enjoy still life looking through glassware and all that reflective glass. My still lifes I pretty much set up in the studio and I have a couple of places I set them up because the light is different in different places. If I photograph early in the morning, I like to have them on my back window in the studio which allows a lot more light to come through. Otherwise, I just set them up towards the front of the studio and start painting but I also photograph it all because things die sometimes incredibly quickly. Sometimes I pick them and I'll pick three or four, put them in different vases and one will just keel over and die straight away and the other will be fine. So I really rely on photos because you just can't tell what a <laughs> plants are going to do. And then even when they're not in the best state, I kind of keep them in the studio because it just helps you look at the structure of the plant, where, the, where each of the little branches or parts of the plant join just to understand the plant a little bit more. 